Hey guys, this is the uh, Curve hairpiece from three days ago. So far so good, had a shower. Hasn't been much shedding until just now. <laughs> Didn't notice it coming out. It was just that one hair. Just because I said it, it happened, right? But it doesn't feel like there's any weakness. Maybe it will reduce over time, I'm not sure. But it feels clamped in. You know, Polly's got V-loop on the first layer and then they clamp in underneath. That's what seals in those Vs from being pulled out at all. I'm working with, uh, I'm corresponding with Curve Hairpiece to get you guys discounts. Initially, they've said $10 off using my coupon code. I'm trying to push for a bit more for you. All right. I just bought Lynx, which is also called Axe in some countries. Uh, Urban Messy Look, Matte Gel. I know gel, but matte gel? I never really understood that. Okay, so this is what the texture looks like. It's basically like a, a murky looking clear gel. Completely wet. No paste qualities really. I don't think it would work to add any water to this. A sensible product if you just want to immediately put your, run your fingers through your hair and have some hold. Seems logical. I'm about to do an audition now for a commercial, just on self-testing, that's how they do it these days. And uh, I'll be acting as a teenage girl's coach at the sidelines, supporting them and then consoling one of the girls after they lose. That's all, there's no script. So I don't even know what sport it is. I'm just gonna imagine Australian rules football because that's the one I know best. Is, I used to play that. I don't know soccer positions or anything. I understand basketball. Well, I don't understand netball, but anyway, I think. Yeah, see this, uh, I, I don't feel comfortable pulling that hard over. At any rate, I should still be aiming for that curtains look anyway, because every time I go sideways like that, I always think, oh no, I want it back centered. So I just try to get that correct. So they're looking for somebody between the ages of 40 and 45. I'm 44, so that works. Um, but I don't like my hair the way it is right now. I think I've got to wet it again and restyle it because that's not gonna do what I say, is it? Yeah. So that's the problem. I want to add water. I think though, if I did add water right now and let it dry, the remaining residue that's in my hair from this will actually kick in. As you can see, it, it doesn't act too shiny like gel does. It's not crackly or crunchy. The hold says medium, finish is matte, length says short. Because they give you so, such a small amount and they, like that inside, let's say, this coffee cup would take up just that bottom bit, I reckon, and that'd be all of this, 125 mils milliliters. So yeah, it's been three days. I say every three and a half days, half oh, every half a week, if you do a front hairline touch up. Luckily for me, it's winter, so I'm not sweating. I usually do sweat a lot. Once again, I'm not going to choose this brush. I don't want to risk pulling the hairpiece out of my out of its glue, so I'll just use the the white or what do you call it the sparsely toothed brush. They are teeth, aren't they? Is that a tooth? That thing is that a tooth? No. Well, for a TV commercial, they'll want your hair neat. My hair, whoever's hair it is, they'll want it neat. 
Now I can see little lines there because there was no bleaching done on the front hairline. If you saw me put this on, this will make it shiny, which might lose the realism they want. So I might just, I might just put on a, like a coach's jacket. This seems about right. What do you think? It's pretty coachy. Just want to be careful not to fluff my hair. For these lifestyle type commercials and stuff, I think they're usually wanting to do it in the daytime, but I need to um, It looks okay from the side, but it's just, it's extra, 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 extra large, I think, this one. So, <clears throat> has no shape to it. The zip is just too colourful. It'll, it'll only be head and shoulders as well, so... vest, a puffer vest. By the way, my, uh, my Brio Beardscape trimmer just died. I charged it a few times, there's nothing happening. So I'm just throwing it in the bin. It had already lost one of its ceramic teeth. So sort of nicking me a bit. So you've got to consider the prices on these things compared to what we're spending on hair. I mean that that trim was like a hundred bucks. I was like, oh shit, that's a lot of money. And then I'm going hair, 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 two hundred bucks, two hundred bucks, two hundred bucks. So you have to see things in perspective. I mean that that shave up lasted me over a year, over two years, I think. It doesn't matter, it was cheap other one. It's not as wide, but it's just a basic little one. Still works, has a bunch of attachments. That's from Braun. Sometimes when I try different clothes and have different hairstyles and it still doesn't work, I feel I've got to shave to try to make it work. I'm very, uh, I'm not used to shaving my neck with a razor. I did it in the shower, that little mirror thing in the shower over there. But um, I think this side is closer to my jaw than this side, so it's uneven. I'd have to get in there if I cared enough. This seems a bit coachy, doesn't it? When I, see, when, I'm, when I imagine a coach, I do imagine the, the collar up for some reason. It's also got an air of authority. I'm the emperor of the team. So. Yeah, it is a pity about those, those lines there. I wouldn't want to do an extreme close up like that. It doesn't look real. But they, because the knots are not bleached. The roots are not bleached. It would have been very important to do that. Like I've said, I have ordered a blonde hairpiece. It's on its way. And based on user comments, I bought this 10 volume developing fluid. Apparently 10 vol and 3% is two different measurements of the same thing. I'm not sure what 3% represents, but 3% sounds more easy to understand for anybody who, if you were looking at the, whatever 3% is, whatever oxide or sulfate or whatever the fuck's in there, chlorite, I don't know. They seem to go, in terms of what I've read in forums so far, 10 vol or 3% doesn't 
give you any lightening properties. It'll just make the dye stick to hairs. If you go with uh, 20 vol or 30 vol or 40 vol, you're starting to get into peroxide um, territory where you're stripping the hair of color and making it blonde. But 10 vol is the lowest, or 3%. So I got this color. I didn't really know what color was mine, but there aren't that many range of colors to choose from. Got them both from the internet. This one says dark brown mocha. That level of blurriness is how my right eye sees. Can't I can't. Right. So when that blonde hair piece comes here. I'll cut out my two hair pieces and keep them blonde and that center part, which I always got to throw away, uh, I will run experiments on that until I get it right. The first thing I want to do is I want to dunk the entire thing into this mixture. I think it's three to one or something. I'll read the instructions later, but I'll make, I'll make a video doing that as well. Um, but yeah, blonde. I'll start with blonde. There are two types of blonde that I found. One that's very common is color number 22, which is kind of yellowy. I'm not sure what that would look like to have yellow roots here, whether it would be invisible enough. And there's another one called 60R or something, or it's in a six, no, 600 and something. 60, yeah, it seems like 60. And that's just like really albino blonde, whitish, but not gray. It's just different from gray a little bit. I think, I hope, I wouldn't want grey roots. That's, that would suck, right? So you need somewhere halfway between blonde and white. White is grey, isn't it really? A little bit. So, yeah. I guess that's what the difference is when you look at old people. I mean, you can see their life has been drained out of their eyes more and more as they go from like 80 to 100 years old. And so they've got some shine in their eyes, they can still um, you can tell they're thinking and looking and, and observing and experiencing whereas after that it's like And there's not much going on there, All right? They might give you a oh, that's nice dear, All right? That's it Anyway, I'm, feel, I'm feeling coached up now All right, Phoebe good pass what was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, they're great. It's a great team. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. That's not something that sounds like I'm showing, doesn't it? All right. All right. Nice pass. Nice pass, Sarah. I feel like I'm holding back. I'm not imagining. I haven't. I need to plan out the entire play by play for, let's say, 30 second routine. And then I need to understand what's going on in the girl who's upset and she's hurt her knee, maybe. Right? It's alright. You did a great job today. We're very proud of you. Okay? I, I, don't, know, I don't know what I'm going to say, but I'll put two different backgrounds or some shit on it. <laughs> the thing, the, the odds are low that you can get these things, even if your audition is perfect, right? Because they just go, next, 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 next. What's this guy look like? Yeah, beard's wrong. Next, next, next. So, I'm hoping they do put more effort into it. The director has specified that he does not, or she does not want to have a script. It'll just be, you know. Anyway, this job's about 1500 bucks, if I get it. <sighs> That'll do. I wish I had a bleach the front, but I needed to show you how it comes, right? Polly, because this, remember this specifically, specifically before that, this entire box of hair pieces that I've still got a year's supply of that 0 0.06 low density or medium light density, which looks like low density with poly. I needed to understand exactly that the reason it looks so terrible with those cornfield lines all along here, and you can still see them along this front hair line as well, but at least there's enough coating, was because it had didn't have enough density to thick it over the forest floor, right? You need that canopy um, of medium density. No. I 
I don't really want to get rid of these side bends, but I just don't think a sporty kind of coach person would have this. But I mean, they'll pass it. I've already ticked the box that said, do I agree to cut my hair for the shoot? And I said, yeah, all right. Yes. Yes or no. There's no fucking discussion. Like, which one? Are you in or are you out? All right. I should have done that the other way around. In or out? I said yes was over here. Anyway. Messy look from Lynx. This one's paste from headgear, which I often use. Causes your fingers to slide and then come to a halt as this thing just sort of feels dryish. Then there's some, you know, extreme clay stuff like muck. This stuff, which is wax. It keeps it shiny though, unfortunately. This is anti-crunch wax. Wax isn't crunchy anyway. No, I haven't really experimented that much with putting things which are not hair products into my hair, such as some things like sunscreen. You can imagine that would work pretty well, but it might just dry out and not work at all. Vaseline or something. This kind of thing keeps your hair rock hard, but it's got some shine to it. Ultimately, if you want to go for realism and so on, you really don't want shine, do you, on your hair. What you want is this one. invisible finish, long lasting styles, protects hair from drying out. It says invisible finish. So there's invisible finish. There's frizzies. If you've kind of got frizzy hair, it doesn't have any hold whatsoever. There's this one. Perfectly undone. A ultra fine holding complex. Here's a bullshit, don't Alright. This one is like conditioning spray. There's conditioning stuff as well. They don't have much hold, but it does feel nice to have that through your hair, like when you're styling it, but it's stupid. It's like $25 for this, right? It's blue though, so it looks expensive. I do want to put some through my hair right now, but I don't think I can do better than this hairstyle that I've got right now. My other stuff, which is this stuff. It's Moroccan argan oil, just basically makes your hair kind of glisteny and sort of conditioned for a long period of time and uh, Mojo defining paste That's uh, Stronghold natural matte finish. Yeah, I'd go for matte finish It smells like American crew petroleum based stuff which always kind of makes me feel hot Especially if you get it down on your scalp, which you often would if you're running it through your fingers through your hair. So I would avoid the petroleum type smelling ones. This one is the ultimate. I've never been sponsored by this company, but they've never mentioned me in anything. So, but I've mentioned them millions of times. But I'm not looking to have an affiliation with Mark. It's just that they are the best out of the hundreds of of hair companies, hair styling products I've used. But it is thick, right? It's very thick. You have to add water to your hands before you put it through, otherwise you'll rip your hair piece off. All right. This stuff does basically nothing, but it smells so good. And it actually, it's just leaving conditioner. It doesn't do it, have any whole properties whatsoever. Anyway. I'm going to go figure out what background, this is obviously not going to be the background I'll be using for my audition. Chuck up a blue screen, I've got this blue screen thing. That's not blue, it's green. Somebody said, just put a couple of those um, 3M stickers hooks on the ceiling. Let me just hang it up there like that. But now I guess with the washing machine, 
이렇게 손을 I'll probably just do it here now. Like, see, I'm gonna do it. 